Dr. Hyunjo Hee, the wife of Mayor Choi Doha, is the ultimate villain of the drama, The Notorious Big Mouth. And in this video, I'll share my detailed proofs to support this theory. Proof number one. The mystery of Guchon University Hospital. This hospital and all its events actually tie most of the story and its plot twists together. We need to remember that the whole story started with the murder of Dr. Seo Jejong and his infamous paper that supposedly led to his death. Now, where does Dr. Seo used to work? The Guchon University Hospital. And who is the director of this hospital, you may ask? The one and only Dr. Hyun. Not only this, but there's much more more mystery attached to this hospital. There is a hidden innovation center in the hospital where something illegal is happening behind closed doors and it's all under the supervision of Dr. Hyun. I have a feeling that the hidden place in the innovation center of Guchon Hospital is the hideout of Big Mouse, where Big Mouse is dealing with human experiments and drugs. In the first episode, it is mentioned that Big Mouse deals with drugs and introduced their own drug which affected so many people. Dr. Hyun is is a doctor and a researcher and it's so easy for her to make such a notorious drug herself. Dr. Hyun is working on making a new medicinal drug that is harmful but still accessible to the public. A similar thing was the objective of the villain in the drama Vincenzo. I think Professor Dr. Seo's paper was regarding this drug and his paper must have ruined Dr. Hyun aka Big Mouse's big plan. That's why Dr. Seo ended up dying. But you must be wondering, Drama Hyun, Dr. Seo was murdered by those NR form guys inside the car. So what's their role in the story? This takes me to proof number two. Gong Ji-hoon versus Big Mouse. Dr. Hyun and Gong Ji-hoon aren't on good terms. In episode 2, when the NR form elites are all sitting together, we can sense the tension between Dr. Hyun and Ji-hoon. The reason why Dr. Hyun, aka Big Mouse, hates Ji-hoon is that he is so full of himself and disrespects her husband, Mayor Choi. Big Mouse loves her husband and she was the one who has helped her husband come this far in his career. Remember that Ji-hoon keeps on mentioning the 100 billion won that Big Mouse stole from him. Why is no other NR form member concerned about this money? Because it's Ji Hoon's investment fund, which was given to him by the elder. We know this elder guy is someone who is above all, and he is the most powerful guy and is respected by all in the NR form. So, this was all the plan of Dr. Hyun, aka Big Mouse, to steal this 100 billion won from Ji Hoon so that he is no longer respected by the elder and thus her husband, Mayor Choi gets more recognition. And you all can clearly see Dr. Hyun is successful in her plan. The elder now is more focused on Mayor Choi and he doesn't even want to talk to Ji Hoon. Furthermore, at the start of this drama, we can see Big Mouse dumping away the gold worth 100 billion won inside a hole and then filling it up with concrete. Because Big Mouse really doesn't need this money. Dr. Hyun is already rich. What she needs now is support from the higher ups as she knows that not everything can be bought with money. Proof number two, part two. Gong Ji Hoon's hit and run case. During the scene of episode two, where NR form elites are all seated, Dr. Hyun reminds Gong Ji Hoon of his hit and run case that her husband, Mayor Choi, helped him get out of. Ji Hoon's wife mentioned how it was simply a drunk driving case. But Dr. Hyun looks at Ji Hoon wickedly and says, do you really think it was just a simple alcohol drunk or was it intoxication by something else? This is so important to bind the previous proofs I have shared. The drug that intoxicated Ji Hoon in his hit and run case was the drug that Dr. Hyun aka Big Mouse has produced and Gong Ji Hoon was addicted to this drug and has been investing in the production of this drug. That's why when Ji Hoon finds out that Dr. Seo's paper is against this drug, he wanted the paper so badly as he knew if this paper got published, it will ruin his big investment in this drug project. To add on top of it all, when Jung Ho gets intoxicated during driving in the first episode, it is also the same drug Dr. Hyun made and the same drug which led to Ji Hoon's hit and run case. Proof number three, the fish bait. In episode one, Mayor Choi calls Park Chang Ho to this abandoned place where he's fishing. This is the place where it all starts. Chang Ho gets caught up with these elites and all this drama right from this point. Ever wonder who recommended Park Chang Ho to Mayor Choi? They never tell us who. So I have a huge feeling it was Dr. Hyun who recommended Park Chung Ho for the case because it was always in her big plan to make him the scapegoat if things ever go wrong. 
after Big Mouse, a.k.a. Dr. Hyun, stole 100 billion from Ji Hyun and the whole murder of Dr. Seo happened, she was scared about her identity being revealed and that's when she decided to make Jung Ho the Big Mouse in front of the whole world. But she was preparing for this for the longest time. I call this proof the fish bait because when Jung Ho agrees to help Mayor Choi in episode 1, the fishing scene, we can see at the end of the scene, Mayor Choi finally catches a fish and then the camera even shows a spider web. It all shows that Chung Ho has been trapped by Big Mouse now. One more clue that solidifies all this is during the scene in episode 2 where NR elite form people are hanging out, the news of Chung Ho being the Big Mouse breaks out. Everyone is shocked but there is a mini moment where we can see Dr. Hyun and her expression are totally not shocked. She's actually looking at her husband and trying to see his reaction. This shows how she already knew about Chung Ho being framed as she herself did that all. This takes me to proof number four the manipulation of Mayor Choi. Mayor Choi is a very interesting character. The viewers wonder about his intention, whether he's good or evil. But I believe Mayor Choi is a good character, but also a character with a stroke of bad luck. Mayor Choi has no clue that his wife is Big Mouse and he's being fooled big time. There is a scene where Mayor Choi talks to Miho and he mentions how he used to trust his father and supported him, only to find out later on that his father actually did those crimes of disposing of the factory wastes, so he gets betrayed by his own dad. Mir Choi is trying to tell Miho to not trust anyone even if it's family. Miho then is suspicious of Dr. Hyun, but Mir Choi repeats Miho's lines and tells her that he trusts his wife more than anyone because it's his wife. This is a foreshadowing that Mir Choi's trust will be broken once again because his wife is actually the evil big mouse. Furthermore, we can see Dr. Hyun in very very suspicious places wherever is Mir Choi present. For example, in the art gallery where Mir Choi is looking at a painting and Gong Ji Hun comes up to him and talks to him, we can see Dr. Hyun looking at his husband in the background. It's like she's always keeping an eye on him. Then a major point, the Big Mouse client's ledger. In episode 3 at Mir Choi's house, Mir Choi is in his study and he's looking at the ledger with the fake names. Dr. Hyun comes there with wine and then Mir Choi hides away the ledger. Dr. Hyun must have known back then what Mir Choi is up to and she must have seen the ledger too. That's why she also later on knew that Park Chung Ho needs the real names at the jail to protect his identity as Dr. Hyun wants everyone to keep on thinking of Chung Ho as Big Mouse. That's why she is helping Chung Ho inside the jail. But she needs someone to help her messages reach Chung Ho in jail and no, it's not the warden. Proof number 5, Jerry and the Cheese. Now comes the role of Jerry in this whole story. Jerry confused everyone that people think he is the big mouse, but no, he's just a loyal servant of the big mouse and let me give you the proof why. In the original cartoon Tom and Jerry, Jerry is mischievous and always running after cheese. The Jerry of this drama is inspired by Tom and Jerry too, as he himself mentions this to Park Chung Ho in episode 2. Jerry also mentions in this first meeting with Chung Ho in jail that he is inspired by Big Mouse and really respects Big Mouse. Yes, he does. He is the loyal servant of Dr. Hyun, the real Big Mouse. That's why he listens to everything she asks him to do. In Jerry's wrist tattoo, the cheese has a string at its end. That means the cheese is connected to a trap. This just shows how Jerry is the fake mouse and not the real Big Mouse and he's just one of Big Mouse's army. Big Mouse is not working alone. We are mostly shown some scenes of an actual mouse in the drama. In those scenes, a Big Mouse is surrounded by small mouses and Jerry is one of that small mouse. The tarot cards Jerry is delivering to Chung Ho are on behalf of Big Mouse's order. And Another reason why Jerry is not the big mouse is that the drama is making it obvious that he is the big mouse. This is just to divert the viewer's attention from the real big mouse, Dr. Hyun. Now let's go over some mini proofs. The actress playing Dr. Hyun, Ok Jae Yeon, is a brilliant actress who has played mostly villain based roles. It's the aura around her that is just so strong and makes people scared in general. There is definitely a high possibility of her playing a negative role in this drama, such as 
fake mouse. The intro of the drama has a Virgin Mary statue with a camera in her eyes. This also suggests the possibility of Big Mouse being a female character. So that was it for this video. I don't know if this theory will ever come true or not, but it was still fun working on it. I hope you enjoyed it too. If you made it till here, do comment with a mouse and cheese emoji along with your own thoughts and views on this theory and this drama in general. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this on your favorite K-dramas. Thank you so much for watching. Take care everyone and I'll see you with another video. Bye-bye.